Hello, welcome to English Country Life and welcome to the workshop. It's dark, it's cold, it's windy and I'm sorry if everything creaks. We haven't done a tool tip for a while, have we? I've got an opportunity to show you one. It'll only take a few minutes, but it's well worth it. Every small holder should have this tool. And this tool is a rivet gun. A rivet gun is a brilliant tool for attaching two things together, sometimes thin things, and actually like thin metal, very difficult to weld, particularly on some kinds of metal, but a rivet gun attaches it really well and it takes no great skill. Let me show you how they work. This is the sort of thing that rivet guns were made for. This coal scuttle made a very thin material and any attempt to weld this handle on would probably blow through the thin steel out the back, just burn a hole. So a rivet has been put in. Two there, two there. And what a rivet is, is a piece of metal that is peened over, i.e. flattened out and widened at each end. The only problem you get with a heavily used coal scuttle like ours, which is more than 10 years old, is eventually those rivets fail. With the aid of a rivet gun, we can fix that. This is an aluminium rivet, and it will fit into one of those holes, just like that. And it comes in two pieces. There's a rod here, and there's a piece at the end that's got a flat part to it. And what actually happens, if you push that in that hole and pull on the rod at the same time, the back of the rivet flattens out like the front and the rod pulls out. So what you actually do, you end up with something that looks like a, a dumbbell for the smallest creature in the world. Two flat ends with a thinner bit in the middle. And if I put the handle in place first, push the rivet through it, push the rivet into the hole, then suck that rod out, it will attach the handle to the coal skull. Four of them will keep it very strong indeed. And this is the rivet gun. As you can see, it's got a little hole in the end. And that long metal stake that we showed you goes into that hole. And with a rivet gun, what you can then do is push on the gun and squeeze the two handles together. And that will hold the rivet in place and drag the steel through the aluminium rivet at the same time. So the rivet has gone through the handle and through the coal scuttle. And what I do is squeeze those handles together now while pushing to make sure. And can you see there, there's the flat head. And on the inside, there's another one just like it. We'll put a couple more rivets in and that's how it'll work. There we are, handles reattached. I just want to give you a thought here. Price of a new coal scuttle delivered on Amazon, 12 quid. Price of a rivet gun and some rivets on Amazon delivered, seven quid. Time to fix, two minutes. So we fixed the coal scuttle. We bought the tool to fix the coal scuttle. We've got five quid left over We've still got a box of rivets. Why wouldn't you have a rivet gun? Just want to show you that. These are both rivets in my box of rivets here. Two different lengths and two different thicknesses because rivets come in all sorts and shapes and sizes. So if you buy a rivet gun, buy one with a box that comes with it like this. And you get all the different varieties of rivets in the box. And you'll soon find out which ones you use most of. And buying a few more rivets really doesn't cost much money. But it's worth having a variety of sizes just to fix oddments like our coal scuttle. Oh, a coal scuttle works again. I really like this pattern of coal scuttle. Fiona's on her way home, so we'll be warm for the weekend. And they are great just for putting a little scooch of smokeless onto the stove. Last thing at night, making sure it stays in overnight. We haven't done tool tips for a bit. Not quite sure why. They're only ever short videos, just to sort of, while I'm doing a job, to say, I'm using this thing, have you ever seen it? Would you find it useful? Would you like to see more of them? If you would, can you leave us a comment down below? And while you're there, if you can give us a thumbs up, that makes such a difference to the channel. Whatever you do, 
Come back and see us soon. Take care.